happy birthday and more blessing keep pushing group of amazing women trailblazer that that really have our issue at heart they are doing and thriving to really push it forward we know that resources could be a challenge uh, mobilizing so many women in one platform to come in different organization could also be a challenge but continue to do the good work that you do First, I would wish Femnet a happy 30th uh, birthday and uh, as a champion for women's rights and uh, feminist uh, activism and mobilization across the continent. Thirty solid years ago, a girl was born somewhere in Africa. This girl has been through many phases of growth and each that has enriched her learnings. She has learned how to talk, walk, fight, dream more and recreate her core purpose. Her excellence at work is what defines her today. As candles light up for her 30th birthday, one thing remains crystal clear. Her journey, struggles and purpose in life have not deviated from the cause for advocating for the rights of women and girls in policy and practice. 30 years plus, she has remained true to her dream and the unmistakable achievements in the African women's movement mirror her success. It's the UN conference in Beijing, we worked since then, have worked with FemNet. It's now almost 20 years, yeah? It's going for 25 years soon, in 2020. I've been in touch with FAMNET and worked with FAMNET on the regional meetings, the sub-regional meetings, the international meetings. But we've also had association in terms of making sure that we mobilize and we advocate for strategies that will change the lives of women generally, but also specifically rural women and girls. FEMNET played an instrumental role in galvanizing and organizing African women and also young African women to be in those spaces and ensure that their voices are heard and their priorities are counted in development of the global goals, which is now the Sustainable Development Goals. They trained me on leadership and sex and reproductive health rights for women to understand. And through that, I've been able to go back to the society and do the same to other women in Kebera. And we formed 250 groups for young women that can amplify our voices. And most of the time, you'll find us in the streets fighting for our rights. I've always found that Feminet has always led African women in amplifying their voices, creating spaces for them, particularly uh, maybe at the global level. For instance, when we went to UCSW, Feminine was always there, the African caucus meetings and all that. Feminine has been leading that. And I think that the work that Feminine has done to give African women voices so that they can also express themselves in places where otherwise they would never have seen themselves, I think is a re remarkable achievement. And over the 30 years, they have not uh, deviated from the course. We're talking about the NGO CSW since morning. Christened Femnet at birth, the girl is today's pioneer Pan-African feminist membership-based network in Nairobi, Kenya, with over 700 members across 46 African countries. Femnet's approach to survival continues to be unique and relentless. Far-sighted like the proverbial giraffe, the professionally run secretariat supported by the members has over the years identified the issues affecting African women and girls and innovatively sought ways to address them through amplifying voices, formulation of policy and legal frameworks, shifting mindsets and perceptions to ending discriminatory and harmful cultural practices to lobbying African governments to domesticate and implement international treaties conventions and protocols and agreements. Indeed, we have made some gains in uh, shifting 
mindsets, perceptions about the woman's place in society. We have also made some gains in terms of the policy and legal framework, uh, in terms of recognizing the fact that women are actually equal with men. We pushed for a standalone goal on gender equality. We worked with African women across the continent. We worked with other feminist groups uh, in other regions globally uh, to ensure that the goal on gender equality is adopted by our governments and global leaders. Feminet is one of the African groups that have influenced even the CSW uh, outcoming conclusions. So this is unique. How many organizations you can find being quoted at CSW? The African Women's Development and Communication Network, FEMNET, has and continues to champion the plight of African women and girls in key policy dialogues like the African Union Summits and the Commission on the Status of Women, CSW, both at the continental and global levels. Enforcement of international labor standards and national labor laws to ensure the right to work and right at work of all rural women uh, and formal economies are equally protected. Looking back, a lot has been achieved in the last three decades, but a lot more needs to be done as new emerging challenges require sophisticated, intergenerational and all-inclusive approaches to address them. As a Form 5 young girl, the very, very type of challenges that I faced, I see the young girls at 16, 17, 18 years still facing. We've seen women not being respected as human beings. We have made advancement, but we still see that there's still a lot across the continent where women are not at the same level. Women's rights are not recognized. Women are not seen as equal human beings with men, as equal human beings with other citizens. So there's still a lot um, that needs to be done. We have advanced quite considerably when you look at the policies that have been developed, but when you go down and you find an African woman, an African girl all over the continent, you find that sometimes they still are not able to access the same resources, they are still not able to access the same rights, the same opportunities, they still don't have equal privileges and standing in status in society. Many countries are adopting quotas on the continent and so many countries have more than a third of women in, uh, in politics. And yet on the flip side, for example, when you go to the presidential level, we have gone from three presidents to no president. And so we still have more work to do to ensure that we get, for example, more female presidents uh, into that space. Going forward, FEMNET has outlined a roadmap that will make it a relevant and responsive network to the needs and aspirations of African women and girls in all their diversities, both the year 2030 and 2063. And the issues that FEMNET has been advancing, as it is today, they are still there. We cannot say that we have done away with all the issues that we have been complaining about. We will of course go by the uh, Agenda 2030, we also go by the Agenda 2063 of our member states. So we should always open our eyes, open our ears and also sniff that uh, certain things have to change depending on the situation and the time as we are moving forward with the Agenda 2030, the Agenda 2063, but also uh, all the issues that come our way.